Hello everybody, welcome to the beloved channel. My name is Lois Kiri. Karibu sana if you are new here and if you have returned, thank you so much for your support. So we continue to stand on this word of God because this word of God is alive and it's active. And as we continue to pray, we have to really believe that God, he hears our prayers and he answers them. We have to continue speaking out this word, reminding him what his word says and also having faith that what we ask of him he has already heard us and he has answered our prayers so today let's focus on deuteronomy 28 we'll start from verse 3 all the way to 13th so deuteronomy i love uh, the promise of this uh, chapter because this is a promise that god promised the children of israel and the word of god says that he is the same yesterday today and forever if he promised this uh, blessings unto the children of um, of Israel. Remember, we are also adopted into his kingdom. That means that these blessings apply to us as well. Even though we are not um, under the old covenant, we are under the new covenant. However, his blessings still stand. So today, let's just go ahead and read Deuteronomy 28. And this is the word of God that we will stand on as we pray. I want you to replace the word you with I. So whatever, for example, wherever it says you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country i want you to say i will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country so this is the prayer that i want us to pray um i want i want us to pray and meditate on the whole of today and allow that word to come alive continue reading and meditating on it and trust me the more you meditate on it it becomes real to you and it will happen so let's just go ahead and read deuteronomy 28 and as i said i will replace the word you where it says you with i uh, starting from verse 3 all the way to 13 it says, I will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of my womb is blessed and the crops of my land and the young of our livestock. The cows of our herds and the lambs of our flocks are blessed. Our basket and our kneading trowel are blessed. We are blessed when we come in and blessed when we go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against us are defeated before us. They will come at us from one direction, but they will flee from seven. The Lord will send a blessing on our bands and on everything we put our hands to do. The Lord our God has blessed us in the land he has given us today. The Lord has established us as his holy people, as he promised an oath. If we continue keeping the commands of the Lord and walk in obedience to him, then all the people on earth will see that we are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear us. The Lord has granted us abundant prosperity in the fruit of our womb, the young of our livestock and the crops of our ground in the land he swore to our ancestors to give us. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on our land in season and to bless all the work of our hands. We will lend to many nations but will borrow from none. The Lord will make us the head and not the tail. As we continue to pay attention to the commands of the Lord that he has given us today and carefully follow them, we will always be at the top and never at the bottom. So let's continue, let's continue um, meditating on this word throughout the day and allow it to come alive in our lives. Uh, let's just go ahead and um, say a word of prayer and then we can go ahead and close today's episode. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring my viewers to you, Father. Um, I thank you, King of Glory, for this word of Deuteronomy 28, the blessings that you have pronounced, Father God, on us, O Jehovah Lord. We thank you, King of Glory, that this blessing, the blessings of Deuteronomy 28, starting from verse 3 all the way to 13, O Father God, that they apply to us, O God. I thank you, Jehovah Father God, that this blessing, O Heavenly Father, they will come alive in our lives, O Jehovah Father. The Heavenly Father, we shall encounter every blessing that you have uh, pronounced in our lives oh heavenly father thank you jehovah father for manifesting all the blessings father god that you have bestowed on us oh father thank you king of glory father we love you father we worship you and we adore you father may you continue blessing our viewers may you continue father god opening doors for them jehovah father god may you continue teaching them oh god and helping them to grow in you lord to fall in love with you to have an intimate relationship with you jehovah father god to depend on you jehovah father may you continue to uh, um, 
to bring revival in our hearts, O oh Heavenly Father. May you continue, Jehovah Father God, to help us to learn this word, O oh God, because this word is you, Lord. Your word says that in the beginning there was word, and the word was God. And Lord, you are this word. You are this word, O oh Heavenly Father. Help us to continue meditating on this word, O oh God. Help us, Father God, to continue, Father God, speaking your word and standing on your word, O oh Heavenly Father, and having faith in you, Jehovah Father, and being led by you, being led by Holy Spirit in everything that we do, O oh God. Father, I bless my viewers. I bless each and every person who comes on this channel, O oh Jehovah Father. I pray, Father God, that they will encounter your, uh, your presence wherever they are jehovah my father god i pray jehovah father that they, they will have an encounter with you jehovah father we thank you king of glory thank you father that they will feel your presence uh, around them jehovah father god i pray father god that they will understand your love for them oh jehovah father that they will see father god your physical manifestation jehovah father as you will my father we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we give you all the worship thank you father we commit this day to you father we praise you we honor you and we worship you it's in jesus name that we do pray trusting and believing you god amen Thank you so much for watching yet again uh, this episode um, and even as we continue with this series of prayer, continue intentionally, please continue intentionally praying, using the word of God, standing on the word of God and most importantly having faith and also allowing Holy Spirit to pray through you and pray in the perfect will of God. God bless you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.